So right now I'm gonna turn it over to Susie Cheely, who has built several of our roller coasters and attractions here at Busch Gardens and at Water Country USA. Um, she and I have been here for about 31 years, to 31 years each of us. We were children when we, we were started. children, <laughs> just so you know. I was, uh, <laughs> yes, I was 15. Yes. So um, I'll turn it over to Susie, and again, thanks for coming. I apologize for not being able to go out. Mother Nature didn't cooperate. Of course, she's cooperating now. Um, but it's for your own safety that we don't go to the site, and I don't want you slipping and falling. Um, and that's what the site foreman told us this morning. So with that, let's have some fun and enjoy Pantheon. Thank you. So you guys ready to ride it? Yeah. <laughs> okay, maybe next week. I mean, not really. <laughs> next time you come, hopefully. But um, the skyline's changed a little bit. I'm sure you guys, a lot of you who have been at Bush Gardens before, and I know many of you have been here a lot, but um, you know, you can still see Apollo's Chariot, you can see Tempesto. We got Griffin, we got um, Alpengeist. I mean, it really, really is turning into a lot of coasters. This will be our ninth ride, ninth coaster here at Busch Gardens. So we're really excited, probably as much as you. <laughs> Maybe not as much, but anyway, uh, to, to look forward to ride it. Um, we started construction in May. Um, of course, way before that, we were working on permits and uh, you know, plans and bidding and all that kind of stuff. Um, Shovel to the Ground started in May. Um, we spent all summer putting in over 850 piles. Um, underneath all those foundations, there are several piles, steel piles, that go down in the ground like 40, 50 feet. It's really amazing. Um, I know that's not, you know, kind of real exciting for you guys, but it's really something to see. Luckily, this was uh, kind of off in the distance from the rest of the park because the pile driving is like a constant bing, bing, bing. So, you know, we were a little bit worried about the sound. I think uh, Gary Petra and our sound engineer turned the sound up maybe in Italy and uh, Festus, so we didn't hear so much of that. But um, they've made a lot of progress, obviously, since then. We have almost all the track up. Um, we actually had to leave a section of track out so the crane could get in and out. There's still some pieces that, uh, that have to be put in on this side, but um, for the most part, I'd say it's probably 95% up. So with that, we're gonna finish out the foundations in the next couple weeks, uh, put in the rest of the track, and then we're gonna start ride testing. That'll be the next, next uh, phase of uh, you know, the project. Um, after that, you guys probably know, we do, we do a lot of uh, our own operations testing. And uh, then while that's going on, our theming gets installed. Uh, we can't put our theming in now because it'll get destroyed. And a lot of it's kind of uh, layered on top of some of the other structures. Uh, station building's still not quite finished yet. Um, the electricians are busy pulling all the cables and stuff into the electrical building. Um, I wish I could show you that, but unfortunately we couldn't get out there. But it's like spaghetti sometimes, the amount of cabling that goes into it. Um, there are two launch locations, and there's uh, the, a lot of the cables have to go to the, the staters. Okay, you know, um, Loch Ness Monster and some of the older rides, they have the, uh, the chain lifts. Okay, so that's how the car gets to the top, and then gravity pretty much takes it out. This one, you can control it. This type of coaster, you can control it a lot better. So there's uh, magnetic launches that, you know, there's uh, magnets on the bottom of the car, magnets on the launch, and it pretty much propels you forward. So in this one, we have the, you come out of the station, there's the first launch, and then there's a outer side roll that's actually gonna come uh, over on the other side of these trees, but it uh, comes a little bit closer to the water. Then it goes back toward the station um, to the second launch. Second launch is gonna propel you part way up. You can see the top hat. It's underneath this first loop. It's kind of beyond there, that's the top hat. But the, uh, the, that launch propels you part way up the hill toward the top hat. And then you actually come backwards and you're launched again. So you pick up more speed back to the spire. And I don't know if you can see it from here. You definitely could see it from the other side of the bridge. So as you walk back to the Fest House, make sure you look for that. That's actually 178 feet tall. You're going to go backwards up 90 degrees. 
and you're going to catch a little air time there. So <clears throat> hold your stomach. <laughs> I can't wait. It's going to be so much fun. Elizabeth can attest to that, right? And then um, you're going to come down again. There's a switch track, the, the fast switch track, they call it. And it, it's two seconds it only takes you to move the, move the track. But where you come in and go up, then it has to switch back so you could go back backwards up to the spire. Then you're going to go forwards again, get enough speed to go over the top hat, come down, 95 degree drop, and at that point, when you get to the bottom, you're going to re reach your top speed of 73 miles per hour. From there, you come out to an outer bank turn, right? Yeah. The names are kind of changed a little bit here, so. And then um, that's uh, that's going to take you into this uh, Camelback Hill inversion. So that's your second inversion. And then you'll come back into the station. So really nonstop action from beginning to end. Uh, there's so many elements that we're combining. So as you're a rider, you're just going to wonder, gosh, what's going to happen next? What's going to happen next? And um, it's just going to keep you so excited to the point where you're going to come back in the station go, whew, what did I just do? And then you go back in line and do it again, right? <laughs> so that's kind of what, uh, how we're, we're hoping that it is. Um, again, we're almost there. When it gets to this point, everybody's like, oh, well, you're gonna open in March, right? <laughs> well, obviously there's a lot of, uh, even once the track's up, there's a lot of electrical, mechanical, um, you know, gotta get the grass growing. Um, finish the grading and add the theming so there's put the sidewalks in that kind of thing but uh, we're we're looking at spring sometimes spring 2020 and we'll definitely keep you posted on that